M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. On the left, we have the new Icon 52 Plus. You can get it in black or silver, has the USB C. But with the latest firmware, it has Bluetooth terminal mode, which means you can use this app here on my iPhone, the RS MS3i, which is a, a, a newly updated app to connect to your. 52 plus so we are in terminal mode if I just come out of that by going menu then go up to DV gateway select and go back to it says normal so that's normal mode and in DR mode you can hold down DR look the bottom button here and hold it again you're back in DR mode to connect the Bluetooth you on the iPhone you just swipe from this side and turn on Bluetooth like so We've Got Bluetooth there okay I'm back out oh my god right okay and then on this on the 52 you just go menu navigate to set select that then go down to bluetooth set up and down look bluetooth set is the middle button and then just hit pairing reception there's lots of different things you can select but do pairing reception and then it will pair okay and it will come up with something on the screen uh, it will say something like a code and just when you see that message on both devices click OK but on the 52 remember to scroll down a couple of clicks uh, to see the so you can confirm it and it's just showing there it's disconnected right so what we're going to do is go back up and go to DV gateway and we're going to actually select terminal mode now on the actual app I'll go through my settings we it's stop at the moment so I've put in G7RPG as the gateway repeater server. So you just got to think that this is connecting to someone's server. Um, and so the more people that create servers, the more things you're going to have to connect to. So at the moment, you can't connect to all your common reflectors unless someone creates a server. Um, but G7RPG has created a link for Hubnet. So you just click OK. G7RPG.hubnetwork.uk. OK. G7RPG dot hubnetwork dot uk uh, and then connection device if you click there it says paired but you can do a scan and repair if you need to go back the tricky one for me i don't know why it just wouldn't accept my call sign it just kept on trying and if i had to go into you do have to register uh look at if you i'll put a link in the description go to d star register uh gateway and then you have to actually register your call sign with a repeater otherwise it won't work so it's not your D-Star number, it's registering your call sign, you've already got your D-Star number, with, say, the nearest D-Star repeater to you. Because the idea is that you can use this app to connect to that repeater digitally with no, no antenna. Remember, we're not using uh, RF, we're using internet. And then I, everything else is turned off. So now if I press play, look on the screen here, XLX477BL, and it says iPhone connected. Now, at the moment, I'm trying to find the XLX to connect to. Now, if you go at the bottom, we've left that's in terminal mode. You can't change that. But at the top, when it's highlighted blue, you can press the middle button here and you can go to direct input. And here you can add an XLX just by turning and selecting and moving to the right. When you that, that you can change the numbers with the knob, but we've already done it. So if we press enter, it just puts it there. So the idea is to get one where you, you can speak to people. So we are connected at the moment. Now, if we transmit, um, you'll see a little dashboard does appear at the bottom here. You'll see it in a second. There, right there at the bottom. M0 FSB, I've used Q uh, because for some reason it won't accept my B. Keeps coming up with an error. It should actually be B, but you can see repeater one, repeater two, it's all in there. So I still feel that would probably work. And I, I have actually registered M0FXB space space Q, and it's two spaces uh, with the DSR register, and I've registered B just to get it working. So I feel like it is working, and, and ultimately we're using terminal mode via Bluetooth, and that is working. So that's the purpose of this video to show you it does work. Uh, I just I'm speaking to the server administrators to get the find out which is the best XLX to use, so I can actually talk to someone, and then we're going to make another video. And that's about it. Now, when it just settings wise, if there's anything else I've missed. If you hit the three dots here, 
the security policy. I notice you can choose gateway type, and that did make a difference. Make sure it's, for me, it was um, global. When you tap that, I think you have to stop, yeah. Gate, gateway type, see it says disconnected. Look, global, and that's the one I use, so I'm not in Japan. When you push play, it just automatically connects. So I think it's working, but give us something to connect to, because this is what I say, they've been messing around with this terminal app icon for years but give us something to connect to i know we can connect to a different people that are running servers what we actually want to connect to is reflector one charlie reflector 30 charlie give we want that and like on blue dv with the kenwood d75 blue dv has used i don't know he's a clever guy david pa7 lim and created the blue dv connect app um and, and then we don't again we it's a different screen this all together but it uses terminal mode to connect all of the reflectors xlx dcs xrf and we want that from this app so icon please give us something we're actually going to use bye for now seven three all the best